Hello, friends. <laughs> this is Low Rate Hit Man. How the heck are you guys doing today, man? Goodness, man. It's nice and gloomy down here in Tennessee. I mean, it's raining, cloudy, storming. I mean, how, how you doing in your neck of the woods? Hopefully, hopefully everything's good. Hopefully, you guys ain't getting no earthquakes out in California, no tsunamis in Hawaii. You know, over in, over in Australia, I hope, I hope nobody's got kangaroos getting out of control or anything. You feel me? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. This gameplay right here, man, this is just me and, and some of my friends having fun. I mean, it's a little old. It's not too old. It's about a month old, I mean, but uh, I held on to it, man. We don't get to play that much together, you know, and we all got together. We just had fun, and just everybody just basically ran around and got kills. That's what the other team wanted to do. So, I mean, if everybody's down for it, just do what you got to do. That's the way I see it. Have fun with it. But what I'm really doing, I'm going to throw this dual commentary that me and the crazy Canadian Dave did this morning. We was talking on Skype, you know, we was just recording, you know, just talking about stuff, you know, uh, intellectual things, you know, a uh, Southerner's perspective, you know, a Canadian's perspective, you know, uh, he grows up, he grew up, you know, miles and miles away from me, totally different atmosphere and everything, you know, and sometimes we just talk about stuff. It's some, it's some strange stuff, don't get <laughs> Don't get me wrong, we talk about some far out there stuff, you know, but which you're fixing to see if you stick around and listen. And with that said, I think I'm going to put this clip in here, and, you know, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And, uh, hey, you know, follow me on Twitter. Get on Twitter where I can interact with you. Let me follow you. Hell, it's Low Rate Hitman. I mean, I'm always on some Twitter, checking out videos, interacting with people, you know. I, I enjoy doing it, you know. If you enjoy that too, go ahead and feel free to add me. Feel free to add me on PlayStation, whatever you want, you know. You want to interact, you want to play, you want to do a video, whatever. Just get in touch with me. It, it ain't no big deal. I'm here to help everybody out. That's, I just have fun with this. and uh, I do appreciate everybody that stops by and checks out my videos. I really do. I'm sorry I don't have no informative videos, you know, on a skill, how to get better, this and that. You know, I play the game to have fun even though I am very serious about it. But uh, I, I'm just, I don't, this game is too far gone. It's too old to be doing all that. <laughs> You already, you feel me on that one, I already know. And with that said, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. What is the message, and where did you read this message at? No, there is no message. I'm just saying that I think we've been contacted before. What do you I think, think they, they said been... to us? What, what kind of contact do you mean? Like, you know, like you're sitting there playing World at War, you know, and they suck <laughs> you up in a spaceship, and you come back, and you've got like... I don't a, think that has a, ever... Or something? I don't think that has ever happened <laughs> ever i don't think there has ever been ever e ever been a alien abduction okay there is no there is no way in hell that they have that there are things out there that have the ability to abduct a human in today's society without anyone else seeing this happen well, I mean, I like to think outside the box, man. I am from the South and everything, you know, and uh, I mean, that's not hard to tell, but my mind's open enough to believe that, you know, that we're not, there's a possibility we might not be the smartest uh, things in the universe, man, as much as we'd like to feel like we are. You still there? Yeah, I'm still there. Sorry, I yawned again. Uh, yeah, I'm still... Uh, I <laughs> No, I've I've been up since like. Uh, Honestly, do you do you just do you, do you think that uh, <laughs> do you think we're just the smartest thing out there? No, I don't think we are. No, 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 not 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 in any way, shape, or form. But do you really think that there are things out there watching us? There's a possibility. We're we're trying to find people and watch them, ain't we? What would make us so interesting, other than the fact that we like to blow each other up? Well, what makes nothing so interesting that we're constantly looking for something? Uh, it's all, uh, it, yeah, I, I agree with you with that one. I mean, we're constantly looking. We can't even make it out of our solar system. Yet we get asteroids all the time from different solar systems that hit the Earth. We can't even yeah. get out of our own solar system unless we just go straight in a direction toward a planet on the, on the outer realm and just fucking go into dead space, man.
But the thing is, is that we're we're not we don't have the technology to do that. That's right. We're not, yeah, we, we have, have the technology, we but just started. Uh, we just started pulse technology. Like we just started technology that could probably bring a human to Mars and back safely. Uh, we are. This thing about this in the last hundred years. Let's just go back to 1912. Okay. In 1912, we didn't have any technology that we have that we are using today. That's that's a good that's a good reference you're saying there. That's fine. In a hundred years, things have changed drastically. Like if you go back a hundred years from now, if you get into your TARDIS and you go back a hundred years, you won't see any buildings a higher than two stories. That if you put insane. someone back to our time, they would fucking have a heart attack. Hey, you're absolutely correct. You know, and it kind of proves my point even more, you know. Yeah. In the I last think... hundred years, we have evolved more as a society, as humans, as a culture, faster than any other year before it. That's right. And all, all, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, is who's to say, you know, that there's not something out there that's faster and smarter than us. Maybe we might be a thousand to two thousand years behind them in technology. Yeah, I know. That's that that's that is a good point. But that's if only there is life capable of going through a, into a different part of the galaxy. That's another thing. Humans can't go faster than the speed of light. See, you that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying we can't. And we hold the limits of the world and the limits of things that possibly can but be it's, out there it's on us. celestial mechanics. It's, that's that's man-made mechanics, though. You know, it could, be, it could be so odd. It could be so odd that one day if we ever was laid the blueprint down of the galaxy in front of uh, Ty, Neil Tyson Degrassi or something like that, you know, that, that here's your reward for lifelong endeavor of just studying the galaxy universe here's the blueprint of it and when he looks at it he just falls over and faints because he was so far off target of what it really was yeah yeah you're right and since so that possible i mean because we're, we're we're actually we're fast the past hundreds hundreds of years but look at the thousands of years it took us to get where we were going exactly that's what i meant is like within a hundred years of our current past within a hundred years of today we have grown faster than than a thousand years before it. Now let me let me throw one more thing into the mix. Yeah. I'm gonna refer to the Sumerians, okay? All right. Why did the Sumerians have pictures of UFOs and pictures of spacemen four thousand years ago? That would that, that I mean four thousand before years before Christ. It'd actually be six thousand years ago. And that this is pictures that they drew on text and everything of UFOs. What if it, they clearly look like flying saucers and what we know is what a spaceman might look like 6,000 years ago. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't explain that. That That's completely unexplainable in my opinion. It is unexplainable. I mean, but to say, you know, if they had the technology 6,000 years ago before we created our 100 year ago technology spree, I mean, if they had that technology 6,000 years ago, what do you think it would be like now? Oh, I know. It would be completely unrecognizable.